Hi, so in this video, we learn how we can use uh, Spring Boot AMQP to send message to RabbitMQ. Q. So let's get started. So this is a Spring start.spring.io. I'll select a Maven and simple RabbitMQ that is Remo RB. And I will not put any sort of a dependency and just generate it. So I'll copy it to my work folder and I'll put a new code. So what I will do extract all and import into IntelliJ. So what I will do it, I'll click on project from existing stores, demo RB that we have just recently created, click a new window. Okay. Before we start writing the code on that, we need to add dependency related to AMQP and RabbitMQ. So there are two dependency I'll put over here. Okay, now we will start copying the code. So first of all, we will create a config file. So I'll just paste over here. I need to refresh the maven and and this is Q is okay so we do not have any error on it so now so what this class is doing is just uh, first of all it will create a connection factory using the host name then username and password that we already tried in management console then it also creates the qbin which we'll use to send then there is a rabbitmq template so spring boot does have lots of template available for every different libraries so for rabbitmq there is a different template so so rabbit template template and template is taking the parameters connection factory and the rabbit tem template will send message converter set the message converter to a simple message converter okay so now we will create a rabbit mq sender nothing it just take a rabbit mq template as an auto wired and then it just convert and send the message to Q and then we will because we do not have a web interface so in the demo application we will use the command line runner and command line runner is okay so the moment the spring boot application will start it will send a hello message and we'll let change it to spring boot okay hello world message from spring boot so using rabbitmq sender so if we go to the sender it has a send message it take the rabbitmq template and it is sending the message okay and then what are exactly the rabbitmq template if we go sorry uh, the config file that we have created the rabbitmq template and we have configured a simple message so let's try to run and see where is our queue so i will queue uh, change name to hello spring boot just i'm changing the name let's try to run
so created a new connection and because we do not have any logs so let's check in our RabbitMQ management and click on the management go to the overview and again click on the queues and then we have a new queue and it has a one message so let's click on the queue and go to the message get message and just pass a one message and click on a get message so hello world from the spring boot so we have successfully sent message from a spring boot application to RabbitMQ. so that's it for this video see you on the next time